All right guys, so today's video, absolute banger. It's all about that long progressive run. I'm currently in a build-up for another marathon to try qualify for the Paris Olympics. I've already done half the job, you could say, at Dublin Marathon. That got me a lot of really good points. But now we're back into the thick of training to try to get that next race result to go a little bit better, a little bit faster, and get my bum on a plane to Paris for that bloody Olympics that's going to be amazing. Today we're going to talk about how you can use that progressive long run, how you can structure it, how you might progress it. You don't need to be training for marathon for this to work. I was doing this in 2020 with Mo Farah, Bashir Abdi, Olympic medalist, world medalist. They were training for track races, 10K, maybe half marathon race, a great north run. But this long run still played a huge role in the training. So let's roll the intro. All right guys, so welcome to today's episode. This is a long run, but with two things going on. I did a bit of a session yesterday, so you go into today's long run. It's not just tired, so your legs are gonna be tired, sure. But part of the big thing with marathon is that it's all about energy reserves. So that means like food, glycogen, what you're eating. So what happens is if you've done something pretty hard yesterday, you've kind of emptied the glycogen reserves a little bit, and then it's very difficult to replace all that energy before you go out the next day and train. So you're coming into today's long run slightly depleted from the energy reserves and also a little bit tired psychologically, a little bit tired physically. So it's a really good day to practice how it might feel in the race when you start to get a little bit tired. And so the pace is kind of progressed down. Every two and a half miles, the pace will get a little bit faster. I'll be fueling during this to practice the fueling. But even though at the beginning, you're not quite at, say, marathon pace or marathon effort, it's a good idea to just pretend you kind of are and practice not like the rhythm that you're going to be running like race day, but certainly visualizing perhaps this is how race day would be. Am I relaxing my shoulders? Am I being present in the moment? And you're just trying to get through little difficulties that pop up along the way. So yesterday's session was tough. It was two times three mile, kind of around like what would be LT1, that first threshold. Then what I did was a four mile hard effort. That four mile hard effort is me training specifically to doing things that I know really helps me. I really benefit from that stuff. I find it quite tough because I've already done the two times three mile, but I also just sometimes find that effort around 450 to 455 per mile. It doesn't come easy to me at first, but then when I start repeating it every week, and that was week two, it gets to a much, much, much better place. And so you think about these things, you know something's gonna help, so you add it in and you start practicing it, you start doing it. So coming out today, we're looking at, it's probably gonna be 14, 15 miles, starting to get into the marathon -y sort of prep, and the pace will progress down every two and a half miles. It'll probably progress from 6.30 per mile all the way down to about 5.15. And we'll do a bit of a loop around Belfast. It'll include some of the really nice parks. And because I've got company on the bike, that means I can practice the drinks, get some filming for you guys, and get on with today's episode. So I'm gonna jump into this run. I've probably already been showing you lots of it, prepping the drink, getting going. And then at the end, I'll talk you through how it went. All right, so look, that's a wrap. Um, bloody good. It, it, it's I, like I was just saying there to Chris who was biking with me, it, it's sometimes you're getting a wee bit over your own head, sometimes with anxiety, sometimes with what if this happens, what if that happens? And I was doing that session yesterday, I'm pushing in that final four mile, and it's just a case of bringing yourself back to the absolute current moment that you're in right now. Center yourself, breathe. Don't worry about what might happen a mile from now. Don't worry about what might happen towards the end of the run, the end of the rep. I was doing that harder four mile sort of tempo effort yesterday. And already at mile one, I wanted to make it two mile. 
and then I'm thinking like, well, what's going on? What, what, what are you worried about? And you're worried that something's going to drastically change. Something's going to happen. It's going to get harder. You're going to slow down. Take that deep breath, compose yourself, drop the arms, you know, relax everything, and then just get into a nice rhythm. My fourth mile of that four mile rep ended up being the quickest. So, you know, what's going on? It's all up here. So today was really good. That was a nice progressive every two and a half mile. I had an absolute nightmare. My Coros battery died. And then I had to grab the iPhone and kind of use that for Strava and heart rate. But I'm good with pace. And I knew that every two and a half mile I was picking up the pace. And then what it did was it came back and I checked my lactate, probably around mile 12 and a half which was the final quicker section. So that was around sort of 5.10, 5.15 per mile. Lactate was only 1.2, which is really, really good. I'm happy with that. It's a good run. Where things go from here is you can progress the distance. So you can go to, you know, 17 and a half mile, 20 mile. And then you can also progress perhaps the speed of the initial sort of start of the run. So you're looking at 6.15, six minutes, 5.45, 5.30. 515 per mile then back to like 545 sort of thing for the last two and a half mile but what you can do is go quicker at maybe the start so instead of 615 you could start at six minutes 545 this is all relevant to what your marathon pace is so that final section for me at 515 i know it's not my marathon pace but it might be marathon effort on a day like today where you've done that harder stuff yesterday so look at progressing down if your marathon pace is six minutes per mile, maybe you'll progress down from 7.30 down to like 7.15. You maybe don't need to go to seven minutes and you'll have a really good day. So you can progress pace and you can pro progress the distance. Remember to fuel, remember to practice that, be present, be here now. If you want more tips like this, check out the running school, plenty of nutrition stuff, recovery stuff, strength conditioning, how to train, training plans. Check out joggingroom.com. And thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate everybody. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, do all those lovely things. We're almost at 90K, which is ridiculous, but thank you so much.